the cynics claim that the last place on earth to expect justice is in a court of law. And for them, the government's prosecution of Ty Warner, the inventor of the Beanie Babies, the international billionaire, the all-around great guy, is additional evidence to support their claim that our government is out of control. I ask you to watch this video and see if you agree that Ty Warner's tax invasion conviction was complete bull****. Before striking it big with the worldwide sensation known as Beanie Babies, Ty Warner's father got him a sales job at Daycon, a toy distributor. There his boss said that Ty was the best salesman the world has ever seen. Part of Ty's persona was that he would drive around in a white Rolls Royce convertible with a top hat and cane and a fur jacket, weather permitting. Part of this act was to have fun. The other was to build mystique. If you saw someone hop out of a white Rolls Royce with a top hat, a cane, and a fur jacket, and he had a box he was carrying, Ty reasoned, you are really going to want to know what's inside the box. I just love this guy. Ty traveled to Italy in the early 80s, and he saw some plush toys unlike those available in the U.S. He started making his own. Cats and bears, not quite stuffed, and kind of floppy. These were a huge success, and by 1991, Ty was already international. He was selling in Canada, the UK, and the rest of Europe. Yet, his best days were ahead of him when the Beanie Babies debuted in 1993. Yet sales of the original nine were not all that strong. Capitalizing on something called the scarcity principle, Ty then announced that these would soon be retired. Well, that touched off a firestorm. People felt that scarcity close to their hearts and stuffed plush toys were raging hard. How hard? I recall helping my friend's mom move in a massive bookcase into their well-appointed living room. But the bookcase wasn't for books. It was for Beanie Babies. To show off your best 25 or so, safely kept behind UV resistant glass, and no one at all thought this was strange. It's hard to call Beanie Babies a fad because they were red hot for close to a decade. A fad that, with the help from his team, made Ty Warner a multi-billionaire. By the late 90s, Beanie Babies were a true international sensation. While Beanie Baby promotions with McDonald's Happy Meals did fantastic in the U.S., they also did incredibly well in Australia, Canada, England, Germany, Japan, Malaysia, and Singapore. I am mentioning all these other countries for a reason, as it is incredibly important to understand what Ty Warner was up to. By the year 2000, Ty Warner was an international success with business around the globe that was supported by his team at Ty Incorporated. But there's a problem. One of the problems with growing your own team as they grow with you is they might not be aware of the intense tax compliance issues surrounding, especially with international taxation and bank reporting. And in fact, Ty's team realized they had a problem with unreported foreign bank accounts in Switzerland. Bank accounts over $10,000 must be reported on a separate form known as an FBAR. In 2009, most tax professionals were completely unaware of the FBAR form and even IRS auditors, too. Why? While the FBAR was created in 1970, the IRS never bothered to enforce it. The government launched an FBAR amnesty program in 2009 called the Offshore Voluntary Disclosure Initiative. Ty tried to get into it, but the government denied him entry claiming that they were already investigating him. And now he was facing criminal charges. Did Ty Warner have a motive to commit tax evasion? Or did he make an understandable mistake? Here's something you need to know from someone who knows the type of person who commits tax evasion. It is not Ty Warner. If Ty Warner ever had an incentive to commit tax evasion, it was before he hit it big. Billionaires don't need to evade taxes. 
They truly have more money than they can spend. There is no return on investment with evading taxes. I guess he could have been evading taxes for kicks, but that doesn't fit the character of a man who takes care of everyone around him. The guy who commits tax evasion is the guy who's struggling to climb and really isn't thinking strategically because tax evaders never really climb all that high. They might have a few million one day, but by tomorrow, it's usually gone. The claim that someone who is a multi-billionaire has an incentive to evade what the government claims $5.6 million in taxes is sort of absurd. This is seriously stupid. If Ty Warner's estimated $2.8 billion fortune was in an account earning 5% interest, that would represent $140 million of interest per year, or $383,561 a day. $5.6 million is 14 days of this income. Ty Warner is incredibly secretive. It's hard to find any pictures or videos. So what the government is saying is that the billionaire who covets his privacy would take a gamble on losing all his privacy so that he could get an extra 14 days of income. The indictment against Ty Warner is nothing but legalized clickbait. The government leveraged Ty's own fame against him to get you both fearful and respectful of an almighty tax system. Well, that asks the question, why did he plead guilty? The best I can tell, his tax team made a mistake. His tax team seemed to be local guys that he trusted and grew as he grew. But I suspect their skills at international reporting weren't all that great, and the government saw an opening to tax someone very famous and leverage his fame into awareness of international taxation and foreign bank reporting. I can tell you from my own experience as an international tax attorney, it is incredibly common to find good tax practitioners who make big mistakes on foreign reporting. The reason? It is so terribly complicated and completely unlike domestic taxation. So even though Ty had completely legitimate purposes for having a Swiss bank, he has an international company after all. It would be hard to imagine him not having a Swiss bank. He still had no incentive to commit tax evasion and was largely regarded as a great guy. But he proved too juicy of a target for the government. Someone has to be charged. The government figured it would get a huge return on it its vestment with Ty. Most people do. So why didn't Ty Warner go to trial? Ty could have gone to trial and hoped to prove these things. I think a good criminal defense attorney would have got him acquitted. But there's two problems. It's only a possibility of an acquittal. There would be a chance he could lose and lose big. And second, in order to prove his innocence at trial, there would need to be some sort of evidence that his tax team dropped the ball. And this could precipitate criminal charges into his tax team. And my guess is Ty Warner reasoned that he could absorb the arrows far better than the people he looked at as essential into making him a billionaire. So with that, Ty Warner pled guilty to tax evasion, received two years of probation, and fortunately never had to serve a day inside a prison cell. Who was really indicted by the Ty Warner tax evasion case? As I look at the facts, Ty Warner is not just acquitted, but he comes off as one of the best guys ever to walk this earth. We should be doing everything in our power to create more Ty Warners. It has been an honor to research this man. Now, as far as the guilty parties... It would be easy to blame the U.S. government, and I suppose we should. But the government is only responding to culture. And that culture, I'm afraid, is all of us. All of us who believe the income tax as is, is perfectly acceptable. 
The U.S. income tax works because Americans believe it has to work this way. What we need to do is change the way we think about taxing other people. Are we taxing them truly because we need them to pay their fair share, whatever that is? Or are we taxing them out of greed and spite? Could it be the greediest people on earth aren't billionaires like Ty Warner? But rather those who have weaponized Americans into a frothing mob out to destroy the best Americans among us. Hey, so let me know what you think. Do you think Ty Warner really committed tax evasion? And also in the comments below, let me know if you like this kind of content. I can make more videos like this. And uh, be sure to subscribe. We're always having some pretty awesome updates here on irismedic.com.